one minute and to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, last week tragedy struck my community when an explosion rocked the R.M. Palmer Chocolate Factory in West, West Reading, claiming the lives of seven people and injuring many, many others. Most people know Palmer Chocolate for their Easter bunnies and other holiday treats, but we know them as an important part of our community. Since the tragedy, our first responders have been heroes. Our neighbors, nonprofits, and local businesses have set up programs to help, and in some cases, literally have given the shirts off their backs for those who were impacted. Similarly, and also not surprisingly in my community, government leaders at the local, state, and federal level are also on the ground, collaborating together to support our community and recovery. I speak today for, full of grief for the family and friends of those whom we have lost. And I speak today full of gratitude for the strength and the dedication of so many in our community who are doing so much. We see you, and we honor you, and we are very proud to stand with you. Thank you, and I yield back. For what purpose does the gentleman from Virginia 